we're back here at home, not necessarily worried about the weather, no. but we are about to talk about it. Oh my goodness, there was nothing to be worried about. It was just too beautiful <laughs> all day. We had a lot of wind today, and that was from that cold front that came through yesterday or Friday. And so once that front came on through, we started to see some really nice weather in its wake. And it's going to continue to work in our favor over the next couple of days. So this is what happened today. We had a few clouds this morning. And then as the day wore on, we ended up with nothing but clear skies. And a lot of the wind that also came on through was mostly coming in out of the north northwest today. But you'll notice that we had no rain today. We'll have no rain tomorrow. The winds are going to start to shift around and that will help to keep us on the mild side over the next couple of days and almost hot as the week wears on. You'll see in just a few minutes. But uh, the winds have really died down this evening. So what we're looking at is that along the beaches, we still have winds at Anna Maria at 14 miles per hour, Longbow Key at 10, Siesta Key at 9. But as soon as you move on to the mainland, we're looking at 5 to 7, maybe 8 mile per hour winds. As you move on down towards the south or in the coastline, we're also looking at winds 10 to 11 miles per hour per hour, 14 miles per hour, a little bit farther to the south. But overall, those winds have finally started to calm down. That cold front, way out here, well away from the U.S. mainland. We've been watching these clouds moving across the Gulf of Mexico. Some of them back here did have some rain showers associated with them. Those all dissipated as well as this entire system moved on towards the east. And now as those clouds are getting closer to us, we may see a straight cloud move across, but we are not going to see any rain. And you can see this is being verified on radar right now with just a few of those passing clouds, and then that's going to be about it. So once the clouds move in, move over us, then we're going to be left with nothing but lots and lots of sunshine for the rest of the day tomorrow. And you'll notice too that the winds are going to start to shift and come in out of the northeast, and that's going to help to bring those temperatures back up into the mid 80s. So that's where we're going to be for, to, for tomorrow. High pressure is firmly in place, and as long as this high pressure system has a grip across the southeast, we are not going to see any rain developing. We've got a cold front to our north. That one is not going to be coming through here. We have another cold front that could actually make its way through here next weekend. And what we're looking at right now are temperatures still in the 70s on the beaches, but you look elsewhere and we're looking at mostly 60s, farther, farther inland. We also have temperatures in the 70s. And today we had a high of 81 degrees, a little cooler than normal, which is 83, 61 was the overnight low. And if you're heading off to the beach tomorrow, we've got those winds coming in out of the north, northwest, 10 to 15 knots, seas two to three feet with a moderate chop. No advisories are gonna be posted, but we are expecting to see plenty of sunshine, breezy conditions at the beach, 84 degrees for the high at the beach. And then cool temperatures tonight, we're gonna to get down into the low 60s, so cooler than normal. Definitely sweater weather if you are a Floridian. And as you can see, over the next couple of days, we're going to be warming up very nicely. So tomorrow, we get to a high of 85, plenty of sunshine around, sun in the forecast each and every day through Saturday. Notice there's no rain that we're expecting, but the warm-up begins in earnest on Monday. So enjoy tomorrow. Adam?